If you are interested in watching this video in its entirety, I strongly suggest that you watch Contracts and Agreements, Metaphysical or Otherwise. It is my previous video to this one. Please watch that video in its entirety and then proceed to watch this one because they are very well connected. Let me say right off the bat that if you are sensitive, easily triggered, highly emotional, religious, and extremely fanatic with it, you need to stop this video right now because I'm not going to be saying things that you prefer or would want to hear. As a messenger, I am compelled and I have agreed to come forth and speak honestly and truthfully about the subject matters that I so choose the subject matters that the people are interested in and want to know now I have over the years had so many people to ask me about the Bible is the Bible true is the Bible the Word of God and I'm going to answer this question within the context of most people's understanding which means that when most people think of God they think of a being or force that is in control of everything that there is that's ruling over everything that there is and within that context the answer to the question if the Bible or is the Bible the Word of God it is not now let me tell you why it is not first of all I think most people understand that the Bible is a collection of different books scrolls and scribes that existed long before the group of men, the Council of Nicaea, decided to green light what would go in and contribute to what we call the Bible. Now, a helicopter. I have not heard a helicopter fly in this area in months. And as soon as I make this video, the helicopter is flying over. I'm not going to edit anything out of this video. But, all right, it's left. Don't be surprised if another one comes through. <laughs> Y'all know how it is in this matrix. You start speaking the truth, this is what happens. So getting back to what I was saying, within the context of the Bible, it is a collection of ancient scrolls, books, scribes, and wisdom stolen, really, People would like to use the word collected, but stolen from cultures and civilizations that had existed long before the Council of Nicaea was a thought in the wind. When the world was basically hijacked, conquered, and colonized, those who set forth absolute control seized the greatest documents, the greatest tablets, books of wisdom there is because it's all about the control of consciousness. Now listen to me closely here. So when the plan was set forth to put together this book, mass produce it and get it in the hands of everyone on the planet, it was all about the men 
who put it together wanting to be our God. They position themselves in a position to be God. The colonizers, the bloodline of the very same people who put the Bible together are the very same bloodline or is the very same bloodline that is ruling today. Now stick with me, listen to me closely because I'm building up to something. So, although the Bible has a lot of great wisdom and words to live by in it, it also has a lot of uh, folklore. Some would say the greatest stories ever told. These were stories that never happened. They were the equivalent of what we see when we go into the movie and watch a epic film like Harry Potter or... Um, What's the one with the um, Lord of the Rings and things like that? So they mixed stories of fiction in with stories, not stories. That's not the word I'm looking for with with ancient words and wisdom to live by. And they mixed it all together. Now, here's something that a lot of you may not know as well the help of warlocks was included in putting the this book together as well so that means there's an element of black magic included in the book have you guys ever wondered what's up with all those codes those numbers at the beginning of each scriptural line those are codes that's in conjunction to spells. And when the human mind reads that and they read it over and over, spells are being cast. You have to ask yourself, why would an all-knowing, all-powerful God need fallible, fragile men with egos and men who basically came in and stole the planet why would an all-knowing all-powerful god create give them the wisdom to put together his word or her word or it word if the, if the god of all of creation can create planets stars solar systems you me animals plant life everything in, in existence by mere thought why couldn't he, she, or it do the same thing with the Bible, manifest it in our hands? So that way, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is where it has come from. Most people don't ask these kind of questions. All right? Now I hear another plane flying. I don't know if this microphone will pick it up, but another plane is flying. <laughs> Oh, unbelievable, but believable because I'm very clear on the plane that I'm on. So ask yourself that an all knowing, all powerful God can and should be able to manifest the, a Bible, his, her, it word directly into the hands of every one of us instead of relying on fallible men with agendas, playing politics with huge egos who are totally disconnected from spirituality and nature, which they, they were and they still are. Think about it. So no, the Bible is not the word of God. It is plagiarized, part plagiarized, but it's also some of the greatest stories ever told mixed in with black magic to hypnotize and to control the mind of those who consent to accepting what is on the pages. And that is a form of agreeing a contractual agreement. Once someone accepts the Bible as the word of God and they really believe that wholeheartedly and they are basing their entire existence on that, that is a form of making a contract and an agreement. And so that means they are taking on and accepting everything that comes along with it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So, 
So you see, no one likes to talk about the real nitty gritty history of this book. When they were in Africa, taking slaves, boarding them on the ships. Did you guys know that they had guns in one hand and the Bible in the other? And there are passages in the Bible that condones slavery. You guys can go look at, excuse me, you guys can go look it up. I don't have to tell you what that line is. And of course, believers will find every thing or find any possible reason to play it down, but it is what it is. In the judicial system, in the courts, they use the Bible to do all kind of things in the world that is clearly rooted in corruption. When a president is sworn in, he's, he's sworn in over the Bible. Again, within the greater tapestry of life, the almighty, the, the, the force that rules and is, we are extensions of this book was not from that but it is from the men who are or want to be God here on earth there is a reason why they left the woman out and wherever they mention a woman she's in a subservient position she's either subservient irrelevant or she's property to the man Again, the men who want to be God and who are trying to position themselves to be our gods want it that way because they don't have any real deep spiritual connection. You cannot have any real deep spiritual connection without the divine feminine and the divine masculine. There's very little divine masculine in this book. Has great wisdom, but that wisdom came from the minds of prophets and wayshores and shamans and um, great men and women who and prophetess who existed long before these people came in. So those words of wisdom, that good stuff that is in there came from them. Now, do you guys know that there's a whole lot that was considered to be put in the Bible, but they took it out? because they wanted to uphold this hell fire and brimstone doctrine and belief reincarnation was clearly in the texts and tablets that they have hidden under the vatican but they took it out because again they have to uphold though you only get one life and that one life you don't live according to this book you're going to go to hell and burn forever which is i've done a video on that that is virtually impossible because outside of these fleshly bodies we are light show me where you can set by a, 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 a biological or no, that's not the word i'm looking organic light Show me where you can set organic light on fire. And even if you could, where's the nervous system where you would feel the fire burning? And just a little bit of what I've talked about in the video in the past to prove and show how that fire and brimstone hell is impossible. But yes, a fire and brimstone hell on this planet, perhaps in the center of the earth, very well may be possible in the flesh with flesh and bone beings. But no one could, could just burn forever and ever in flesh and bones. Like, again, there are a lot of metaphors, a lot of things in the book that are good and some of it's not so good. And now, mind you, a lot was taken out. There was also an X-rated version of, of the Bible that was excluded as well because there is a narrative that needs to be shown and painted here now i know what a lot of believers are saying well if it's not the word of god how come all these prophecies all these things are coming true that the bible said it would okay part of that is exactly what i said when you are a colonizer and you are controlling every aspect of society you can pretty much shape it and lead it to wherever you want. So it's very, very logical to consider that these are agendas. Now, those who are are the bloodlines that are ruling, they're connected with interdimensional forces. 
these interdimensional forces operate outside of time they just use bodies and bloodlines to push the agendas along so what you are seeing is part agendas that the colonizers are basically moving forth and setting into place and playing out the other part is again the ancients who documented natural cycles that would happen every 2,000 years. They included that. So it gives the illusion that this book is given prophecy. Now let's just say that the what I just said wasn't even a factor. Do you know that there are negative beings and negative entities that have psychic ability? Psychic ability is just not something that uh, um, um, someone who saintly can tap into but what one who is on the dark side with the ability when they use it what they come up with and what they tap into is usually from dark energy streams so this is why when we do look at um, the things that are supposedly prophecy playing out the majority of it is negative why can't a lot of the prophecies that shared or expressed from this book, why can't it be something very positive and righteous? It's not because the intent that was behind or put behind this book wasn't so righteous. Now, this what I'm telling you is not something that someone can tell you. We must develop our level of discernment and see it for ourselves. And those who base their entire existence on this book will look for every little reason to discredit the obvious. Now, let me tell you this. The real ultimate creator or force that people, you can't even give it a word. I call it the almighty source. It's not some white man. It ain't even a black man. It ain't none of that. It is a force. It is an intelligence. It is a mind. It is part. We are ex extension of that mind. We have our own little mind. This is why this is the mind is the greatest um, treasure in all of creation. Because we exist in the mind. I said this about 10 years ago in a video I had done called um, creation versus um, evolution. We exist in our mind and and within our mind is the all or what you would call God or the almighty, the ultimate, the real, excuse me, the real and ultimate almighty. This force doesn't even rely on a primitive language such as English. This force communicates telepathically. This force communicate through bloodline, through genes. So if you really want a real Bible, the real Bible that comes from the source, you go within and tap into your genetic coding, your bloodline, the library of everything that you that has happened with your ancestors, that has happened since the creation of your bloodline. It's right encoded geometrically consciously soulfully in your soul matrix and in your genetics that's where the ultimate book of life is but most people are not going within they're going without and they are comfortable with that and they wonder why they find themselves getting trapped and recycling over and over in the real hell and the real hell is right here in in trap in a flesh and bone body that can feel pain and suffering on a planet with all of these wars all of these fires symbolically speaking in hell so I'm going to stop right there depending on your response I may do a part two if you have more questions and want me to go a little further which I can I'm just giving you a little bit of meat to chew on and something to spark your own inner dialogue to again I always teach by example but I always encourage personal responsibility personal accountability and for us to go within and use the mind that come from the true almighty source or what you would like to call God.